Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we will be doing a sketch of the Street Fighter Akuma. So I could do an action pose but I think that he is uh, for his image very very imposing when it comes to any kind of pose. I'm doing an upper body and we'll be actually joining this with another video down the line that where there will be further details but right now this is a quick sketch of a coma standard sketch so we put in a huge circle for his shoulder an arc for the collar and the main shoulder structure neck somewhere around here so the other shoulder would of course fall because I'm looking at him standing like this with this dealt outward like or toward us and in that case of course with this uh, with the width of his body that shoulder might not be visible by the time we are done so we have to keep going with the core details coming in so there's the pec and there's pec number two and that pretty much covers up that angle so the other shoulder not necessarily visible you could put it in like that and see how this comes up and then of course right around here we're going to put in his head somewhere like that or we can bring it in lower depending on how this let's see let's see how this comes up now one important thing when it comes to Akuma we have to make sure that before everything is in place we have a set of that that necklace the, the heavy beaded necklace that he wears and which is very symbolic of uh, his getup but we're going to do that in a second let's put down some core anatomy so everything about this guy is like you know bulked up so bulked up as in bulked up in all the necessary places for example the arms the delts so I'm just putting in basic details and there is the chest and you could feel free to put in as many striations as you want and then of course the muscular the muscle structure around the stomach and the rib cage all very very evident very very developed there's the bulging vein around the bicep and there's some core detail for the anterior arm and then what we will do from this point on is because we will we have to work with the garment and his garment is of course always overblown shown in this animated style so tattered garment and it goes right down there and a part of it comes around from there and of course you could show a part of it from that angle or leave that out or just do it anyways and let's have a little bit of the pack outward so that there's more character in this and then of course we come to the face now I'm going to do the face in this manner so nose eyes mouth somewhere here pretty much close and then from this point I'm going to grab a pen to complete this sketch so that we can see this better as I said that this will also tie into another video down the line so let's complete this Akoma sketch line by line so the things that are always in the foreground need to be taken out of the way hence putting in you can feel free to put in any kind of highlights in these areas because they are right in the foreground 
I'm talking about part of that. This is sort of in the foreground because it is also part of that raiment. And as you see that I'm just going through and putting in those core lines. A part of that you can put in here, the chest up till there for now and you'll see why in a moment. Tattered uh, garment again, right there. And now from this point on what we need to put in first is this. We put in these circles, so just go one circle at a time. So sort of C's finishing just sort of each other. And you need to maintain as much consistency as you can as you go right through. And there we have it. This should actually pretty much help do it. So now we can raise the payment up and put in those necessary lines. Now we know that the chest is running pretty much up there right into the collarbone area. So put in the details if there's any room left. You can make these bigger to make it more cleaner and have keep make it more happy with the with the jewelry. And then now the face, so part of it is going right in. So he has this like broad, gruff, well the, it's not gruff, it's like very grim uh, face. And I actually made a little boo-boo there with the, with the eyebrows, he has heavy eyebrows. So right around here. okay because we'll need a shade and we'll cover that in the that mistake with that little shading that we'll be putting in so he has this very line heavy upper brow always a frown point on is everybody's favorite part where they can go wild with that fire fire like hair so I'm just going to do a little bit at a time going like that so sort of just imagine that he has flames on his head and you will have to work around You'll have to work around the details later. The other part of the tattered shoulder piece right there. And at the back of the head, of course, again, hair rising up. I do not know who his stylist is, but he does an awesome job of perming this guy's hair so that it maintains its look. He looks good, well, or he looks horrible or good either way because Akuma is not really supposed to look good doesn't care for it and as you can see that he pretty much has a face that only a mother can love as they say so, and there is the bit of the hair that is in that particular ponytail if you just put in minimal details it'll work and that covers up Akuma's hair, the fire-like hair. And then of course you can put in some details as I said 
so midsection as much as you can go and there we have it now of course you can make it more dramatic by by putting in a bit of the if you wish to put in an arm coming like right down first and then coming up and putting a fist a big huge fist like right here somewhere now that is not necessary but it is something that you could work on if you wish and in which case of course that essential shape might help and you will of course have to go with a lot of foreshortening from this particular angle so thumb hands and that depends on if you need it but that is the core Akuma sketch of course you could put in all the gruff details here as you need sorry the grim and the frowning details if you wish you could make this brow even heavier I don't think he has eyebrows but he has these skin striations that because he has contorted features from using the dark hado as they say and it really trumps reuse power and he's supposed to be the father of the famous Ryu so there we have it a quick sketch of Akuma oh and of course this bead in particular has the inscription and it goes somewhat like that so it's very necessary to put it in and there we have it so a quick sketch of Akuma thank you for watching please do subscribe and keep in touch and stay tuned we'll be working on this a little more uh, in a separate video till then have yourself a wonderful day